Hey y'all, so today I'm doing the Lazy Girl Crochet Passion Twist Method. So let me show you what I mean. So I basically created part in, uh, in the middle for a middle part. I have parts along the sides, both sides and along the back. And also some back here. It's going to look like they're individual when you either have it down or have it up in a ponytail. However, it's not. <laughs> So this video is sponsored by this Amazon hair company. So it came with a bunch of bundles. The pack comes with eight bundles and 12 twists per bundle. So that's 96 twists. Hopefully we don't need to use them all, but it's great that we have so many. So they come like this, already looped and ready to go. Very natural looking. They have like a curve to it and they have a curl at the bottom. So I'm just gonna break this and just grab one twist. And now I have the twist unraveled. So now I can crochet it into this section here. I made it even down below. Just assign this part to this leg. I'm gonna take the one without the leg and wrap it around the root at first. Wrap it just like once or twice so that it's tight. And then I'm just gonna regularly twist it down. All right, so it looks good. Looks like it fit in really well. So I was thinking while I was twisting, I was like, this is actually not a lazy method so what I'm gonna do actually now I was thinking of just feeding in these sections into the braids and then crocheting on here so what I'm gonna do is start with these I guess and I'm just gonna grab a braid every time I grab some hair I'm gonna grab a tiny braid I'm gonna braid as firm as I can so that the braid lays flat, the large braid. So from the front, it's flat. So when I crochet on the twist, I won't have any problems. I'm gonna to try to keep that same thing going for the back of my head, braiding firmly. If I see any bumps, I'm gonna flatten it. So this is a good method. I'll probably be done in an hour with this method. Ooh, look at my hair growing. Look at that length. So we're gonna do the same thing on the other side. And y'all, it's gonna look so good. So other side, I'm gonna start with the first three individuals. harder for me to braid on this side tight. I don't know why. Try to keep it tight close to the... I'm gonna keep this one out. Ooh, I got it close to the scalp so it looks flat from the front. So that's what I mean. I just want to make sure it looks flat. All right, so as I mentioned, I want two side ones to be down and actually look individual. So I'm going to take the twist in one hand, wrap the other strand around twice, and then twist down. You don't have to do this. You can um, pull this up into the braid too if you want. You don't have to do what I did. But I just want it to, to hang down. Okay, for my two ends back here, I'm going to feed them into each other. I'm going to take the hook. Crochet this end up, pull it through as tight as I can. And I'm gonna take the hook again, pull it through. Notice I'm pulling it through underneath and not on top or along the side. And then same thing on the other side. So now we have the real Lazy Girl foundation. Now it's time to crochet. So I'm going to crochet the perimeter first just to make sure the perimeter is covered. So you have to be strategic with crochet so that you don't run out of the hair you have. You can easily run out by focusing on the wrong sections of the hair. So as you can see, we are rolling through the perimeter. Hold up. <laughs> If you feel like your twist got like tangled, don't get it even more tangled, just let it go, redo it. So you pull it through the base, put your hook all the way through the loop, bring that in through the loop, and then pull it tight. Look at that, we have two on already, and they're like really long. They're not really long, but they're long. You know how long twists take to twist. 
front. So I'm gonna try to keep the hook towards the front so that it doesn't expose the foundation. Here, I'm just gonna pull it through with my finger. Make sure it's tight on there. If you need to do two loops, just do two loops. I'm rushing like through the loop. So this time I'm gonna put my finger through it so that I don't get it tangled. I'm gonna put the hook near the front. I love when the latch hook closes on its own. That's the best. I don't have to close it myself. But look at that, we already have five that are ready. All right, we just did four in 30 seconds. I guess you should make, you should braid in these top ones tighter than how I did it. It looks like I loosely braided them in. Like this one right here, kind of loose. I'm gonna combine this one as one. Now I'm gonna go up the middle. I'm gonna lean it towards the middle here. Again, I'm gonna put the hook towards the middle, closer to the middle. So that was one pack. Now I'm working on the second pack. Look at how quick that was. Okay, so I'm done all the individual sections. So now I'm just gonna fill in the middle. I'm gonna fill in this side first. Okay, so I put them to the side and just crochet on this whole section. So that's one side, and we have the other side to fill in. Okay, so I finished this half too. So now all that's left is the back, the back. <laughs> and I have two packs of twists left, so it looks like I'm gonna be using all the twists. And I'm moving pretty quickly too. Hey y'all, so I'm finished. It looks really good. Re like I really took my time and created these passion twists. <laughs> I love them. Let me take out these two on the side. Okay, so I'm gonna take those two out. I'm gonna use like this twist and this twist and tie them in the back. And this is the hairstyle, it's so pretty. Let me put it up in a ponytail. Okay, so I put it up into a ponytail in the back. And this is how we're looking. They're so cute. I love it. It's definitely the lazy girl, the lazy girl crochet method. And I love it, so pretty. So overall, it didn't take that long to install the twist. I just had to do my individuals along the part. If I wanna part and along my perimeter in the back. And the twists are really soft. They're nicely twisted and they're easy to untwist if you wanna just use them to create individual twists like I did. You can do that as well, but they're, they're like easy to take out if you wanna do that. So yeah, I just love that my hair is up, that my hair is protected underneath, and I love that this hairstyle looks like I took the time to create these passion twists. So I really like it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you, Leon Geary, for sponsoring this video. Thumbs up this video if it was helpful. Check out more videos like this on my channel, and I'll see you guys on the next one.